Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me on the banks of the River Dane and we're fishing for silvers on the stick float. So before we get into this week's vlog, I'd just like to thank everybody that left such nice comments on last week's video where we were fishing the mighty River Severn for chub. So on the channel I make a point of replying to every single comment that people leave. Now, I feel if you're going to do a YouTube channel and people are going to take the time to comment, then you should take the time to reply back to them. So, although it is getting really busy in the comment section, I try and reply to every single one of them. But before we get to the banks of the River Dane, at this moment in time you join me out in search of perch on the lure. As you can see, I've picked up a new setup and this will be the first video that I feature on the Tackle Tuesday. We're going to look at the reel and the rod and a few sessions that have been out in search of perch. With most fishing that I do on the channel, stick float, barbel, pike, really I'm confident in my approaches and when I share it with you guys on the channel, it's from experience. Whereas what I'm trying to do at the moment is get out and learn. So when I do make the videos, it's not just mistake after mistake. I want to try and get a couple of fish on the vlog. And as you can see on the screen now, I had a couple of fish last night and come back today and boy have we had a result today. Learning to fish the lure isn't the only part that I'm struggling with. Obviously recording, I've only got one GoPro and one battery so I'm going to have to pick up some more. So please bear with me when the videos do go live that I'm new to that type of recording as well. It's completely new to me. I'll try and make as interesting a video as I can but I am learning. So I'm off to make one more cast before I have to pick my daughter up. I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. It's a bit of fishing for silvers on the stick float. Tight lines for the weekend to come and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me on the banks of the River Dane. We're going to fish the stick float in search of silvers and hopefully a chub. As you can see from the conditions behind me, it's a typical wet English day. Typical of the weather that we get in this country for you guys who watch from abroad. This is a typical day in the life of an English angler. We get used to the rain and the brolly is normally our best friend. As you can see from the river behind me, it's not looking too bad. It's got just a tinge of colour, but the level's good and the pace is okay. What we'll take a look now is at the setup that we're going to use today and how we're going to approach the swim. So the rod that I'm going to be using today is the Corum Glide and I've got that in the 14 foot version. Um, just that extra length that's going to help me fish. If you look behind me, along that far line as well as closer in. That extra length will help me with control of the float. I've got a Corum axis reel. On there, I've got two pound seven ounce float fish. And that is something that I'm going to be experimenting with. Regulars to the channel know that I always use four pound, four ounce float fish. But I'm going to try and refine my tactics a bit more this year when I'm fishing for the days and just see if that makes any difference to me catching. Down to the business end, I've got an eight number four dome top stick float. I've got a bulk shot of number eight shots and two number eight shots evenly distributed up the line towards the float again normally i use number fours just trying to refine that setup a bit to the business end and i was super prepared last night decided to make up a couple of hook links and i'm going to start on a one pound seven ounce hook link and a size 18 hook let's take a look at the swim and how we're going to approach it so looking at the swim as you can see we've got quite a nice steady flow how different it looks at this time of year to probably a month or two's time where the banks will be brown and all that undergrowth will just suddenly die back it is mad how it goes from so green to drab in a short space of time feeding wise I'm just going to be putting my maggots here my hemp round about this mark here hoping to get me bites in that dark shadow area that's where I'm hoping to get me bites um, light setup obviously this time of the year small fish in the river with the odd chance of a chub maybe a bonus perch and yeah excited to get started and it is a horrible day but you've just got to make the most of it so looking at the side tray nice and simple as always with stick float fishing i've got round about two pints of red maggot and there from last week just take them out midweek give them a bit of air riddle them and they'll last you a week or two i've got two pints of fresh behind me just in case we run out but on this river normally you know you normally don't run out 
I've got about a pint and a half of Cheshire Particle Hemp. You can see down there that the river's got a tinge of colour, but there is a bit of clarity to it. And with all stick float fishing, it's basic. Depth plummet, most important item of tackle. We've got number eight weights because we're using them today at the Scourger. So that first cast of the day is always a special one. Just going to feed over an area. When I've fished this area before, you can get them on this inside line, but invariably they move across the river. Last couple of weeks with the barbel, we've been piling the hemp in. So it's going to be weird today to be a bit more held back with it. <laughs> Little small pouches, but I'm just going to put a couple of bits of hemp round about where I'm expecting to get my bites. And I must admit, in fishing, there's not many things that I don't like about it. But fishing underneath a brolly is most certainly one of them. It's just hard work and you know inhibits your casting when you stick float fishing. And straight away, it's getting little taps on the float that tell me that we might need to add a few more weights, but into the first fish of the day on the the first run, which is a good sign. Looks like a little dace. I'll just flick it out a bit further across. Some maggots in. I'm not gonna go too mad with the hemp straight away. That's what these early stages are about. I'm just trying to draw a few fish into the area and any bites that you get in these early stages have a bonus really they say you've got a lot of river below you and you've just got to try and begin to draw some fish into your line well, that is the second fish that we've had on that closer in line there so that's a might be a line that we want to try and target because that is not the line i was planning to go down but that's a nice dace and so two fish and two casts is a, a nice start what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few more shots of the rig and what we might do is we might start on this inside line because there's one or two fish there and just put the odd bit of bait on that far line for later on so with river fishing on the stick flow it's all about getting into a bit of a routine so I'll put some maggots over that far bank line I'm just going to flick on this inside line just into the flow and there is fish there straight away there's a bite as soon as it's gone in so there's another fish um, certainly one or two fish on that line not ideal how high that one was up the peg to be honest with you you want it a bit further down it's going to be very hard to keep the fish coming this close in I feel as we catch more fish they'll migrate certainly down into the middle of the river and sometimes right over to the far side that's a uh, fish just come in a bit further down the swim and this slack down here looks perfect for a little jack pike doesn't it <laughs> so So it is a weird river the day and in the fact that give it a couple of cold spells and all these small silvers do disappear and what you're left with is mainly chub and dace and a, quite a barren river really you know it's quite alive now this is another perch and you can see this river now at the moment, as you can see, is alive with fish. When you get into February, January and it's really cold, you know, you can go a half an hour to an hour without a bite. So I've just tucked into the first slightly better fish of the day and just feel a nice fish 
It's a chub. And there we go, there's that little chublet. And it's amazing how them fish put up so much more of a fight than the dace of the similar size. Well, that's a lovely chublet. So I've just had a flick over that far bank line and just to see if anything was doing. And it's gone with a better quality fish straight away. One of them little chublets, but it just shows by feeding that far bank line you can just build it and drop on every now and again and hopefully there'll be quite a few of these small chublets and maybe that bonus chub about and there we go there's that chublet as you can see it's just that better quality fish than what we were getting under our feet with them days and it doesn't take too many of them to have a very good days fishing right underneath my feet literally on that line we've hooked into a a nice fish and if we were worrying about mr pike being about this is probably the one that he would have there's so many fish of this size in the river at the moment and the dace and the perch it's very hard to get through to the better chub you know the two and three pound ones that we get in winter surely because there's that many of these fish about but these are the better quality fish that you do get in summer and autumn starting to get one or two of them better quality fish now just coming under my feet and just alternating between the two lines so get one or two fish close in and then go out on that further out line pick up one or two but keep feeding down here and it just shows how close in you can get fish on a river alternating them lines just seems to be keeping the bites coming missing a lot of bites it's there's a lot of fish in the area but there's certainly quite a few days and chublets about but you seem to get you seem to get one or two down here and then they go a bit iffy your bites seem to be erratic and then go over there and it seems to be a more confident bite when we talk about diversity in the river that's got to be what the third or fourth species today although the signs of change on the river aren't great that has just started pumping so that's water that's coming off the land now and that wasn't flowing at the start so I imagine if there's a couple of them on the river we may now start to see a change happening As you can see conditions pretty much terrible um just glad that it's not too much of a walk back to the car. And adding to the different species tally, that is a beautiful fish, the grayling. You look at all the colours, the purples in its gill cover, the spots. It's a lovely fish. So, conditions are slowly getting worse. You can see the rain coming down a bit heavier. A bit of a wind on the water. But it has been enjoyable. I really enjoyed this morning just fishing for these silvers on the River Dane, on the stick float. Not had tons of fish as we'll see in the final net but it has been great fun so after midday the bites really did die up and it become really difficult to trot the line down with the wind coming in so decided to call it a day we're gonna head home with a warm drink as you can see on screen now a nice net of fish you know past a few hours and good to be out despite the conditions i hope you've all enjoyed this week's vlog tight lines in your own fishing and i'll catch us all next week tight lines